Okay, so a little while back, I wanted to start using a couple mods, including the replay mod, and I think textbook was on my list and such. Anyway, the important thing here is that I wanted to use fabric mods, but I also really liked Optifine, and that's a forge mod, which, long story short, those aren't compatible. So what I needed to do was find a way to force sodium into being like Optifine. When I first heard about sodium, people described it as just Optifine, but it optimizes the game better. And I was kind of like, okay, well, that's nice. That means I don't got to do anything weird. Turns out I do got to do stuff weird. You see, what they meant was it optimizes the game better, not that it does any of the things that I actually like about Optifine. So what I'm going to be doing here is I'm just going to be explaining how to make sodium do what Optifine normally does. You know, all the crap that makes Optifine actually what we want. So the first one is Better Grassify by Ultima Champ and JM Creeke. And this is just going to be, you know, doing your basic adding the side grass textures. Um, it also has the dynamic mode where if this block isn't grass, then it'll have the normal grass block texture. I have that off because I actually prefer to have it this way. But there you go, the better grass. Okay, next up is Continuity by Peppercode1. And this one is handling the connected glass textures and bookshelves, sandstone, the works. Uh, it allows texture packs to do this connected texture stuff. Um, and if you want just the default stuff or like the glass uh, connected textures and the bookshelves and the sandstone, then it comes with a built-in texture pack that you're going to want to apply. You'll also probably want to apply the glass pane culling fix because that's what Optifine does by default. But if you don't have it on, then you'll just be able to see the tops of the, of the bottom glasses there right here. Okay, next up is, of course, the part that everyone cares about, which is Logical Zoom by Logical Geek Boy. And, I mean, I've already been using it in this video. It's Zoom. Like, it's exactly like Optifine Zoom. I think there might be settings you can change if you have one of these uh, config mods or that sort of thing. But I haven't bothered with that because I just want the exact same Zoom as Optifine. Everything's literally identical. This is exactly what you want. Next up is Lamb Dynamic Lights by Lamb Aurora. This is just doing the exact same dynamic light things that Optifine does. If you're holding an item, then you give off light. And if you throw it out, then the item gives off light. You know, exactly what you want. Same thing exactly. I think the mod description even says that they're trying to make it exactly like Optifine. Okay, and then the last one I have for you today is CIT Resown by Sh Super CM, I believe, is how that's supposed to be pronounced. This is the part of Optifine that allows texture packs to change item textures based off of certain NBT datas. So, best example I have off the top of my head is in the Faithless texture pack, uh, they change each enchantment book's texture uh, based off of what enchantment you have on it. And they achieve that using uh, Optifine's CIT function, which stands for Custom Item Textures, I believe. This mod is just putting that back into the game, and it functions exactly the same as Optifine's. So if you have a texture pack that used Optifine to do this, this sort of this, this, if you had a texture pack that used Optifine to do this sort of thing, then this is exactly what you want, um, and it'll work with that texture pack perfectly. Okay, so that is all of the mods that I. Uh, needed to make the game feel like Optifine again to me uh, because I was just, I was dying without it, seriously. Um, now, it's very possible that I've missed an Optifine feature that you quite enjoy. Um, and if I have, go ahead and leave it in the comments. If you already have a mod that you think will solve that problem, go ahead and leave a link to that too. And maybe I'll add it to the description or upload another video about that. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys later. Bye!